Holland and Knight's Veterans Group was founded on the fundamental premise that the men and women who have served our country and defended our freedoms deserve our talent and resources to improve their quality of life. Here at Holland and Knight, we believe that veterans should be supported and celebrated. Not only on Veterans Day, but every day. From its inception, Holland and Knight was founded on the values of the United States military. Founding partners, Spessard Holland and John Germany, along with the firm's first managing partner, Chesterfield Smith, all served in the United States Army. Our veterans group's goal is do good work. By raising awareness and by providing pro bono and community service for veterans and their families in each of the cities where we have offices. Since 2016, our firm has devoted 33,813 pro bono hours with a total value of more than $21 million. Our attorneys and staff have prepared and delivered over 1,145 care packages to deployed service members since 2018. In 2021 alone, members of our firm dedicated 6,416 hours toward veteran and military-related pro bono matters. In 2022, we were recognized by the North America Chamber's Diversity and Inclusion Awards as an outstanding firm in veteran advancement. Our veterans group is at the forefront of military and veteran initiatives nationwide, and we are fortunate to collaborate with many organizations that share our core values. At Holland and Knight, we honor the courageous efforts of all veterans including our very own. My name is Adrian Mackey, and I served six and a half years active duty and two and a half years reserves in the United States Air Force. I supported the AWACS E3 airframe and the personnel that supported that airframe. When 9-11 happened, my husband, myself, my father, my stepmom, and my brother were all active duty military, and we all left immediately to support the mission globally to stop 9-11 from happening and continuing as fighters scramble to get in the air. And what the E-3 AWACS airframe does is control fighters. So we had to get jets in the air immediately. We didn't know what was coming our way. We didn't know if more attacks were happening. And then when it was over, we were all on standby. The skills then that I gained in the military that I play at Hall and Night is being extremely organized and anticipating the next steps when you hire a veteran, you, you, you get that in the package. I learned a lot from serving in the Army. Um, I, I could talk for hours about all that I learned. I joined the Army right out of high school. So it was a very transformative period in my life. You know, the Army really does instill in every person those core values of leadership. Um, I can think of several situations where, look, I'm working with an associate, the associate feels overwhelmed by the project. And so that's where that leadership kind of kicks in for me to be able to go to that associate Make sure that they understand the purpose behind what we're doing, the direction we're going, and help them feel motivated about the success that we're going to achieve together on behalf of that client. There are so many other things that I learned. I mean, I spent a year in Seoul, Korea. During my time in Seoul, there was a partnership between the U.S. Army and the Korean Army. And so I had a couple of Korean soldiers who were actually working for me. I learned about how they approach life 
I'll learn about how they approach work. Um, and, and, and to this day, I have a greater appreciation for diversity. When I enlisted in the United States Coast Guard Reserve, I was in my last year in law school. The Coast Guard agreed that I could have time to study first and to take the bar exam before reporting for duty. So the very next week after I took the bar exam, I reported to basic training in Cape May, New Jersey. We marched everywhere. It was often under the blazing sun of August and September, which was really no fun. However, when the Coast Guard marching band was out there with us, the music was really uplifting and made us forget about, at least in part, the circumstances under which we were marching. If you didn't do your job correctly and properly, you were placing your, not only yourself in danger, but endangering the lives of others. So translating that into the practice of law and working with others we don't want to do anything except the very best. And I, I don't really think that's ever too much to ask for. I enlisted in the Marine Corps during high school and left for boot camp at 18 years old. Initially, my plan for military service was centered around having a military career in computer programming and money to attend college in the future. In the Marine Corps, I learned structure and discipline, uh, dedication to service and leadership. Those traits were instilled in me. They continue to shape my life today. I have and still continue to volunteer my time to many nonprofits in the Tampa Bay area. My favorite service is to Girl Scouts. I've served as a troop leader, an assistant leader, and an advisor. The idea of service uh, didn't end with my time in the Marine Corps. For me, I continue to strive to do good work and service to my local community where I live uh, every day. Hello, my name is Tanika Lambert, and I am a retired Navy veteran with the United States Navy. I served 20 years on active duty. One thing that is very dear to heart for me is my duty station as an RDC, which is a recruit division commander. So to see these civilians arrive, we transform them into sailors in such a short period of time. It is so rewarding to see the end product of what you help accomplish. When you hire a veteran or a member of the military, the training provided by the company or the firm is built on top of the foundation that has already been set in the military. I always have a plan A and a plan B, and not only just a plan, but I also have steps that I need to implement to reach that goal. Because I've been told many times that a dream without a plan is just a dream. <laughs>